Peking duck is a dish from Beijing Peking, that has been prepared since the imperial era. The meat is characterized by its thin, crisp skin, with authentic versions of the dish serving mostly the skin and little meat, sliced in front of the diners by the cook. Ducks bred specially for the dish are slaughtered after 65 days and seasoned before being roasted in a closed or hung oven. The meat is often eaten with spring onion, cucumber and sweet bean sauce with pancakes rolled around the fillings. Sometimes pickled radish is also inside, and other sauces like hoisin sauce can be used. History Duck has been roasted in China since the Southern and Northern dynasties. A variation of roast duck was prepared for the Emperor of China in the Yuan dynasty. The dish, originally named Shao Yazi. Shao Yazi was mentioned in the complete recipes for dishes and beverages, Yin Shan Zheng Yao Manual in 1330 by Hu Sui, Hu Si Wei, an inspector of the imperial kitchen. The Peking roast duck that came to be associated with the term was fully developed during the later Ming dynasty, and by then, Peking duck was one of the main dishes on imperial court menus. The first restaurant specializing in Peking duck, Bianyifang, was established in the Shanyuko, close to Qiamen of Beijing in 1416, by the Qianlong period of the Qing dynasty. The popularity of Peking duck spread to the upper classes, inspiring poetry from poets and scholars who enjoyed the dish. For instance, one verse of Duman Zuzichi, a Beijing local poem, was, Fill your plates with roast duck and suckling pig. In 1864, the Quanjude Quanjude restaurant was established in Beijing. Yang Quanren, Yang Quanren, the founder of Quanjude, developed the hung oven to roast ducks. With its innovations and efficient management, the restaurant became well known in China, introducing the Peking duck to the rest of the world. By the mid 20th century, Peking duck had become a national symbol of China, favored by tourists and diplomats alike. For example, Henry Kissinger, the Secretary of State of the United States, met Premier Zhou Enlai in the Great Hall of the People on July 10, 1971, during his first secret visit to China. After a round of inconclusive talks in the morning, the delegation was served Peking duck for lunch, which became Kissinger. S. Favorite. The Americans and Chinese issued a joint statement the following day, inviting President Richard Nixon to visit China in 1972. Following Zhou's death in 1976, Kissinger paid another visit to Beijing to savor Peking duck. Peking duck, at the Quanjude in particular, has also been a favorite dish for various political leaders ranging from Cuban Fidel Castro to former German Chancellor Helmut Kohl. Two notable restaurants in Beijing which serve this dish are Quanjude and Bianyifang, both centuries old establishments which have become household names, each with their own style. Quanjude is known for using the hung oven roasting method, while Bianyifang uses the oldest technique of closed oven roasting. Preparation Raising the duck The ducks used to prepare Peking duck originated in Nanjing. They were small, had black feathers, and lived in the canals around the city linking major waterways. With the relocation of the Chinese capital to Beijing, supply barge traffic increased in the area. Often these barges would spill grain into the canals, providing food for the ducks. By the five dynasties, the new breed of duck had been domesticated by Chinese farmers. Nowadays, Peking duck is prepared from the white feathered Pekin duck, Anna's platyrinchos domestica. Newborn ducks are raised in a free range environment for the first 45 days of their lives, and force fed four times a day for the next 15 to 20 days, resulting in ducks that weigh 5 to 7 kilograms. 11 to 15 pounds. The force feeding of the ducks led to an alternate name for the animal, Peking stuffed duck, simplified Chinese, Beijing Tianya traditional Chinese, Beijing Tianya pinyin, Beijing Tianya. Cooking the duck Fattened ducks are slaughtered, plucked, eviscerated and rinsed thoroughly with water. Air is pumped under the skin through the neck cavity to separate the skin from the fat. The duck is then soaked in boiling water for a short while before it is hung up to dry. While it is hung, the duck is glazed with a layer of maltose syrup, and the inside is rinsed once more with water. Having been left to stand for 24 hours, the duck is roasted in an oven until it turns shiny brown. Besides two traditional methods to prepare Peking duck, recipes have been compiled by chefs around the world to produce the dish at home. 
closed oven style. Peking duck is originally roasted in a closed oven. Chinese, Men Lu and Bianyifang is the restaurant who keeps this tradition. The closed oven is built of brick and fitted with metal griddles. Chinese, Bai Zi Pinyin, Bai Zi. The oven is preheated by burning jialang sorghum straw. Chinese, Shu Jia Pinyin, Shu Jia at the base. The duck is placed in the oven immediately after the fire burns out, allowing the meat to be slowly cooked through the convection of heat within the oven. Controlling the fuel and the temperature is the main skill. In closed oven style, duck meat is combined well with the fat under the skin, and therefore is juicy and tender. Open oven style The open oven Chinese, Gua Lu literally, hung oven, was developed in the imperial kitchens during the Qing dynasty, and adopted by the Quanjude restaurant chain. It is designed to roast up to 20 ducks at the same time with an open fire fueled by hardwood from peach or pear trees. The ducks are hung on hooks above the fire and roasted at a temperature of 270 degrees Celsius 525 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. While the ducks are roasting, the chef may use a pole to dangle each duck closer to the fire for 30 second intervals. In open oven style, the fat is usually melted during the cooking process, so the skin is crispy, and can be eaten separately as a snack. Almost every part of a duck can be prepared afterwards. Quanjude restaurant even served their customers the all duck banquet, in which they cooked the bones of ducks with vegetables. Serving the cooked Peking duck is traditionally carved in front of the diners and served in three stages. First, the duck skin is served with sugar and garlic sauce as dip. The skin tastes better while remaining warm, but it will cool down fast. The meat is then served with steamed pancakes simplified Chinese, chun bing traditional Chinese, chun bing pinyin, chun bing, spring onions and sweet bean sauce. Several vegetable dishes are provided to accompany the meat, typically cucumber sticks. Some restaurants offer watermelon radish sticks as alternative. The diners spread sauce over the pancake. Traditionally, the pancake is wrapped around the meat and spring onion, then eaten by hand. Cucumber sticks are eaten as refreshment between Peking duck rolls, but can also be rolled in the pancake. The remaining duck ya ja, can be cooked in three ways. The traditional way is to be cooked into a broth. The meat together with bones can also be stir-fried with sweet bean sauce, or rapidly sautéed and served with salt and Sichuan pepper. Jiao. Otherwise, they are packed up to be taken home by the customers. Reheating Whole Peking ducks can be ordered as takeaways. The ducks can be reheated at home with an oven, grill or boiling oil. When an oven is used, the duck is heated at a temperature of 150 degrees Celsius 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes, and then at 160 degrees Celsius 325 degrees Fahrenheit for another 10 minutes. The grilling method involves filling the duck with boiling water before placing it on a griddle, 70 cm above the cooking fire. The boiling water is replaced every 3 to 4 minutes until the duck's skin is piping hot. To reheat the Peking duck with oil, the duck is sliced into thin pieces and placed in a strainer held over a wok of boiling oil. The duck is then rinsed several times with the oil. Notable restaurants A number of restaurants in Beijing specialize in Peking duck. Examples include Quanjude, Bianyifang, Chang'an Yihao, Zhang'an Yihao Daoli, Beijing Shaowengfu, Beijing Shaowengfu and Dadong Kaoyadian. Da Dong Kao Ya. Some restaurants, in particular Quanjude and Bianyifang, have long histories of serving high quality duck that they are now household names, or Lao Zihao, Lao Zi Hao literally, old brand name. In addition, Quanjude has received worldwide recognition, having been named a China renowned trademark in 1999. Duck Chang's Restaurant, established in 1975 in Virginia, USA, was the first Chinese restaurant to prepare and serve Peking duck without a 24-hour advanced notice. Crispy Aromatic Duck Crispy Aromatic Duck is a similar dish to Peking duck. 
It is very popular in the United Kingdom, where it was created in the latter half of the 20th century. The duck is first marinated with spices, then steamed until tender, and finally deep fried until crispy. The meat has less fat and is drier and crispier compared to that of Peking duck. Crispy aromatic duck can also be seen in the United States, usually served with buns rather than pancakes. In Germany, some Asian fusion restaurants also serve crispy aromatic duck, Nussbridge ente, sometimes also labeled as Peking duck, Peking ente, also Pekingente. The duck is marinated with spices and deep fried, served together with stir fried vegetables wogmuse, over fried noodles or with rice. Gallery See also Chinese cuisine List of duck dishes Mandarin cuisine Roast goose Zongcha duck References External links In Pictures, Making Peking Duck BBC Old Beijing Roast Duck in Vancouver